Here in Ontario, we are blessed with rivers that have been harnessed to produce about 30% of the electrical energy we generate. We are committed to careful watershed management and work to optimize electricity production while respecting the environment and other users of the waterways. Deep beneath the road to the city of Niagara Falls is one of Ontario's largest energy mega-projects, a massive tunnel, the widest in the world, designed to increase Ontario power generation's capacity to make clean and renewable power. The statistics are impressive. The tunnel is more than 10 kilometers long, 140 meters underneath Niagara Falls, and one and a half times the diameter of the railway tunnel under the English Channel. It's being carved out by a gargantuan tunneling machine, we've named Big Becky. It runs about 20 hours a day, seven days a week. When this project is complete, up to 500 cubic meters of water per second will rush through the tunnel, increasing the Sir Adam Beck plant's operating capacity by about 14%. This water from the Niagara River will be used to create 1.6 additional terawatt hours of energy for nearly 100 years. That's enough power for about 160,000 homes. But all this extra water diverted from the Niagara River will not cause the falls to run dry. There's an agreement between Canada and the U.S. to limit the amount used for power, making sure this wonder of the world will continue to amaze. While the tunnel is the biggest that we currently have on the go, we have a number of other hydroelectric projects. We have just completed the brand new 12.5 megawatt Lac Sewell project in northwestern Ontario, a joint partnership with the Lac Sewell First Nation. We have a $300 million project, the Upper Metogamy River, which is currently in the construction phase. And we're moving forward with plans to increase capacity on the Lower Metogamy River, which will add 450 megawatts the largest in this province in terms of new hydroelectric development.